We're going to begin here at 5 with the weather and the severe thunderstorm watch that will be in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. Let's get straight to the Weather Center. Lonnie Quinn with the latest. Lonnie? Yeah, you know, look, we've had the heat for a number of days now. This is day 5 of the heat wave like you were talking about. But we have a front coming through, and that's why I've been worried about the weather today really becoming volatile out there. you got the heat and the front together. It's a bad combination. It's currently not in New York City yet, but those storms are approaching. Wait till you see the line just west of New Jersey, 89 but it feels like 97 right now. The high temp today was 91. Those storms that are approaching, this is the line. Look at that. I mean, that goes all the way past Washington, D.C. We've got some leaders in our area ahead of the actual line itself that has caused uh, some severe thunderstorm warnings. And uh, we have them in Dutchess County. We also have them in Sullivan County, right here around Mount Olive. Hunterdon County, uh, uh, Warren County as well, uh, Somerset County. Uh, it's a tough scene, and it's going to get worse, gang. This cell that you see around Poughkeepsie, uh, this is moving to the northeast, so it would get to places like uh, Unionville 508, uh, Meany at 531, uh, Mitchelltown. There's a lot of them out there, all right? They're still off to our west, but this cell that you see right around Mount Olive has severe qualities, meaning the winds are blowing at... 50, 60, even some 70 mile per hour gusts. That will get to Patterson at 603. There's a bigger line behind this, and that's the part that could make some real problems for our area. And that looks to get into New York City, I would say sometime between 7 or 8. I'm going to track all this when I come back here and see, but look at the storm reports. We've already had wind gusts putting telephone poles down. 50, 60, like I said, almost 70 mile per hour gusts. Be ready for an eventful night. KJ Moltz, go back to you. All right, Lonnie, keep us posted. Thanks.